Well, tonight the Shiloh community is at odds with the state transportation department and other services as little to no work has been done towards resolving their flooding nightmare. WDHN's Robert Smith Jr. has a story that you will only see here on WDHN News. It's been four years now and the Shiloh community is tired of the uphill battle with the state transportation department to resolve their flooding issue that has been going on for four years. In August of last year, they were told a fix was near as groundwork was taking place and now five months later, not much has been done. We haven't seen anything. Only thing they did was come and clean a ditch out the detention pond and that was it, but it didn't control the water. The Shiloh community becomes a lake during heavy periods of rain, a problem they didn't have to deal with until they said the state highway turned into a four lane and was elevated. Just this week when storms came through the wire grass, their property flooded. Because you have all the water from the other side comes over here from other drainage and they pull all the water down here on us. Williams has been trying to alleviate the flooding for him and his neighbors by spending personal money to dig ditches that are suddenly washed away. Is everybody down here, they get my sand, they get my rocks, they get everything. And so uh, we're tired. They are also tired of the damage the water is causing to their properties. The line of the septic tank, it needs replacing. My doors uh, won't fasten properly because the, the front end of my trailer done, done dip down. Williams says the state can do something about the situation. A daycare that used to be down the road had flooding issues, but they fixed the problem and eventually bought them out. He wants the same treatment for the Shiloh community, but a long-term fix. Be fair about this thing. Don't look at the color of our skin. Don't look at the color of our community. You know what I'm saying? But help us. Reporting Robert Smith, WDHN News for the Wiregrass. And in 